Hello, my name is Connor Bramham, and I'm here to explain my solution to the hallway problem. In the hallway problem, you're trying to fit a pole around a 90 degree corner connecting two hallways. In this example, the vertical hallway has a width of 9, and the horizontal hallway has a width of 6. The way I solve this problem is by looking at the pole as it crawls up the side of the vertical hallway. I knew that it had to touch both walls and pass through the pivot point E. If the length of the pole were too long, it would be stuck. However, at the critical angle, if the pole is just the right size, you can continue to push it through because the tip of the pole is now moving down. To find the length of the pole, we need to find that critical angle. In order to fit our pole around the corner, we need to find the longest pole that can fit through every angle between 0 and 90 degrees. I realize that the hallway can be redrawn so that the pole is a line passing through two other parallel lines. That means that this angle here is equal to this angle here. It becomes clear then that the length of the pole is equal to the sum of the hypotenuses of these two right triangles. So we can write an equation to find the pole length based on the angle with either trig or Pythagoras, whichever you like. The longest pole that makes it through every angle is the shortest pole made by a single angle between 0 and 90 degrees. The equation of L1 is 9 over sine theta. The equation for L2 is 6 over cosine theta. The total length of the pole is then L1 plus L2. The shortest length L puts a limit on the longest pole we can get around the corner. You can either use a brute force algorithm, finding every pole length for every angle, or you can use calculus, find where the derivative of the length function is zero, and then use that angle to find your final pole length. With calculus, we can find the derivative of L1 and add it to the derivative of L2 to get the derivative of L. If we rewrite L1 like this, and L2 like this, we can simply use the power rule and the, and the chain rule to find the derivative. That means L prime is just the sum of these two derivatives. Now in our case, the final pole length is around 21.07.